Today we'll be talking about the procedure for correcting an angle of law. So we'll start this video with describing what an angle of law is and then the procedure uh, about correcting it. This is part of the advanced ship stability, especially for mates and masters. Now, if uh, candidates were intending to appear for oral examination, uh, chief mates oral examination may be asked this question. Otherwise, you should anyway know about the procedure for correcting an angle of law, even from a practical application. All right, so even tomorrow, if your ship develops an angle of law, then you should know how to correct it. So I made this short lecture. Hopefully it will address the requirements. So let's start with what an angle of law is. And uh, basically an angle of law develops uh, when a ship is initially unstable with a negative GM, but then it regains a positive GZ or a writing lever at a listed angle. So if you have seen my previous videos on ship stability, there have been videos where I have actually uh, showed you or demonstrated the procedure for actually calculating an angle of law using the formula. Uh, and those were numerical examples, but this is a theoretical understanding on how you should be able to uh, not only um, identify angle of law, but also correct the angle of law. All right, uh, how does the angle of law develop? So I've listed some of the reasons here on the left side of your screen, but uh, angle of law can develop uh, mainly uh, for many reasons. So one of the reasons could be uh, consumption of uh, fuel and water and introduction of free surface effects. So if fuel and water uh, are consumed from a lower level in the ship, uh, it raises the center of gravity due to the removal of weight from the lower part of the ship. Uh, in that case, the center of gravity, if you look at the diagram here, the center of gravity comes up and the and the meta center might go below the center of gravity due to which there's a negative gm all right so even uh, free surface effects are introduced if there are partially effect uh, partially uh, empty tanks or partially filled tanks rather so the liquids are free to slosh about in the tanks because of which there is a virtual loss of the gm and it can also become negative in certain cases if the ship initially started off with a small gm so even ballast tanks that are initially full may become slack as the voyage pro progresses and due to the constant rolling and pitching of the ship at sea, causing water to escape from the tank air pipes that are located on deck. So tanks uh, sometimes need to be topped up occasionally, uh, particularly when stability is considered marginal at any stage. And that is why chief officers ask the bosun to uh, take the soundings of the tanks first thing in the morning and that is the whole idea behind it so some ships they actually sail with very low gm and it's always good to monitor this gm so even poor cargo and ballast tank management may result in excessive free surface movements uh, and so, uh, that is the most common cause of angle of law situations all right sometimes heavy lift operations also lead to an instantaneous loss of the gm as soon as the weight is lifted either of the deck or from a position over the side because such large increase in the kg uh, should be considered prior to any heavy lift operations and that's why before heavy lift operations most of the other operations are stopped and the heavy lift operations is closely monitored department has are informed because of the possibility that a ship may develop an angle of lull. all right then there are other ships such as ships that carry timber deck cargoes and timber deck cargoes uh, that are located and of course lashed on the deck sometimes they observe moisture or rainwater uh, which also makes the top part of the heavy part of the ship heavier and causing the center of gravity to rise and go sometimes above the meta center uh, and that is why an allowance of 15 percent of the weight of the timber carried on deck is made when conducting calculations and determining the writing lever uh, for the conditions in such questions all right so ice secretion on ships uh, as well as uh, compartments getting flooded during firefighting all of these uh, there are many reasons for which the angle of lull may develop so how do we correct an angle of law? So sometimes uh, an officer may not be very sure uh, on whether a certain condition is an angle of law or not, but whether you are in doubt or not, uh, these are some of the things, uh, couple of steps that you should anyway uh, take. So try to alter the course if the ship is at sea, of course, and not in port or at anchor, try to alter the course to put the ship's head into the predominant waves anyway. All right, so if the ship is in an angle of low situation, it is, it is essential that it stays uh, uh, lulled to the same side because wave action may cause the ship to roll through the vertical to lull on the other side and that becomes a dangerous situation. 
because once the ship will heel from the vertical of its own accord and the momentum it will have in rolling over to the other side it may be sufficient to capsize the ship so in any event the ship will initially heel below the beyond the angle of roll before settling at the angle of roll and if cargo shift may also result which may worsen the situation further the second thing that you should be checking is making sure that the port and the starboard listing moments are the same so that that basically means verify the tank soundings and check for cargo shift Uh, because it's possible to account for any listing moment that may cause the ship to be in a listed situation uh, if such calculations are made and there is no net listing moments a case of instability may be assumed and the ship will be lying at an angle of roll so make sure that you recalculate the ship's effective uh, kg um, and verify the ship's gm as well check for the slack tanks is the third step you should be taking this ideally chief officers don't like to have slack tanks but sometimes it is unavoidable especially if you have to maintain a certain draft um so slack tanks may be there so make sure that you check for slack tanks and uh, either it should not be there but if it is there then uh, we will fill those slack tanks up but there is an order in which you should be doing that and that is what we'll be discussing in the next few slides so if the angle of roll situation is confirmed your main your priority should be to lower the center of gravity so remember uh, the more you lower the center of gravity the more the distance it makes from the point of meta center and uh, higher is the meta center above the center of gravity higher becomes the gm all right so meta center should not be below g meta center should be always above g for a positive gm should be there so it becomes it is actually impractical at sea to consider Uh, any kind of uh, shifting weights you cannot shift weights even if you have a crane or a gantry or a container it's 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 a bit impractical for most of the ships because most of the ships these days they do not have gears on the board and even if they have shifting containers shifting cargo is a very delicate procedure and uh, we seafarers are normally not trained for it so that is a that is beyond your uh, capability and you should not be trying that so if the ships have high ballast tanks that are full Uh, these may be emptied so when you empty the higher ballast tanks what happens is the center of gravity shifts downwards or if you discharge ballast from the high side tank first uh, the greater the vertical distance between the center of gravity of the ship and the center of gravity of the weight being discharged will ensure the overall center of gravity to be lowered uh, furthering the distance between the center of gravity and the meta center so once the high side tanks are empty the one on the lower side may then be emptied as well all right then try to minimize the free surfaces so sounding all the tanks will identify any tanks that are slack uh, minimize the loss of gm due to free surface effect by talking topping up the lower side ballast tank so if you are discharging you must discharge from the top side and if you are topping up you must top from the lower side ballast tanks first because that will uh, attract the center of gravity of the ship towards the tanks the lower side tanks and again it will further the distance between the center of gravity and the meta center which is the prime objective in this case then if you look at uh, these tanks here the situation of these tanks or the location of these tanks i have numbered these tanks here uh, try to select a set of uh, suitably subdivided double bottom tanks to ballast so ideally you, should, you must always start with the tanks that have the smallest free surface areas to minimize the effect of the free surface while filling so the order of the filling should be uh, you should start by filling the tank on the lower side uh, let's say this is tank number 1 so it's right side of the screen Uh, because of the introduction of more free surfaces while filling the first tank the situation will initially worsen but uh, then when the first tank is completely full fill in the center tank which is number 2 and when the center tank is full fill the final tank which is number 3 so if the center of gravity is lowered sufficiently the ship should complete in an upright condition having initially verified that the port and the starboard listing moments were the same all right uh, finally the last bit i want to show you here is the Uh, the movement of the center of gravity after completely filling each of the tanks uh, you can you can see that the basically the free surface effect was reduced if if the situation is still not remedied a second set of tanks can also be chosen for filling and the process should, can be repeated all right so basically when you started filling the lower side tanks you can see how the center of gravity was being attracted downwards you can see in the diagram here the meta center initially is below the center of gravity which is not an ideal situation in this case the gm becomes negative but as the tanks started to be filled up as tanks number 1 2 and 3 were filled up you could see that the center of gravity uh, being pulled towards the tanks being filled put the center of gravity below the meta center denoted by m so g3 if you it's clear to you g3 uh, is below the meta center and that's why the overall metacentric height that is gm 
uh, is positive in this case so g should be always below m and that makes it positive so uh, remember that once an angle of situation a uh, low of situation is confirmed uh, just try to fill one tank at a time and always start by filling the lower side tank first all right uh, one thing you must always remember is also that the angle of low may initially worsen because uh, the introduced free surfaces when initially starting to fill the tank um, may cause a greater rise of the center of gravity and then the fall of the center of gravity uh, all right because initially when you start filling an empty tank there will be free surface effect again because it will be a partially filled tank but uh, don't worry about that make sure that you fill in the lower side tank because you are initially you are, it will take time but it will your idea here is your objective here is to lower the center of gravity below the meter center uh, so do it in the order that i showed you and uh, that is how you can correct an angle of flow all right so i leave this lecture here the idea here is for me to just convey to you on how what is angle of law uh, theoretically and how to correct it uh, hopefully if these questions is asked to you in the exam you should be able to answer it now and you can draw these diagrams you can show examples that impresses your examiner uh, and uh, they it will convey to them that uh, you know about this topic all right guys i'll see you soon with my next topic uh, let me know if you want me to cover any topics I, I don't have expertise in all the topics but i try to cover topics uh, which i am very familiar with all right so study hard and keep subscribing bye guys